So if someone has problems finding a safe place, first you have to know that the safety resource or the safe place is the deepest you can have. So out of a group of 10, not everyone will get it, right? So if you have 10 clients, some will have an issue with it. Um, the strategy is you, the stabilization methods have their own depth, let's say. Breathing is number one. Being able to breathe and be calm, that's the most superficial. Then comes something like closing your eyes. You might work with people who cannot close their eyes even. So the next would be something like imagining um, it's getting warm in the solar plexus. Then imagining a protective coat. Then from there going to a safe place. So why is there a choreography in that? Why is it a sequence? It is an empirical fact that you, you might get to a certain depth and there you, then you stop. There you can't go, go far you know, that's the furthest or the deepest you get. That's the most stable you can reach. So you would do the last method that still worked. So if the person still had a protective coat, didn't have a safe place, let the person go back to the protective coat and be there and enjoy that for a while and try to go further later. Just go to the last thing that still worked. If the last thing that still worked was it, I just felt my hands and that felt nice, I did not get the coat, but I could go in the breathing, let the person go back there. That's the deepest you can go then on that day, right? Or let's say in that moment. It might be that later during that session, if you have a long session, you can stabilize further. So the idea is go as deep as you can and stop like uh, until whether the person could go.